<sighs> Man, every single time Wonder Woman flies by in that invisible jet, I get a good look of London and France. Shit, I think I saw the channel. You think we should tell her? Nah. <sighs> I'm gonna get a closer look. <sighs> when I saw the first convention images of the Invisible Jet pop ride, it went straight on my to get list. I love Wonder Woman, I love the Invisible Jet. I think it's campy and silly, but just classic. And I think it's gonna look really cool. I mean, look how big this box is. The regular pop ride boxes are about half of the size of this. Like here, I'm gonna put an actual, just a regular pop here, just so you can see how big this thing is. There's no way I'm going to be able to display this in the box. It's just too big. It's just, I don't even know where I would put it. But once I take it out, probably going to go straight to my bookshelf. I think it's going to look really cool. It's a new sculpt of Wonder Woman too. I think the Wonder Woman that they released for Batman vs Superman is really cool. But I like her with the dark hair and I do like the classic outfit. So it's part of the reason I got this one. They put some of the new pops coming out soon here. Like uh, the Power Girl, Supergirl. Cyborg. Probably gonna get those three for sure. I don't know about the other ones, but those three I'm gonna get. The box art is pretty cool. I do like the design of it. So I'm definitely gonna keep it. And it came in pretty good. There's a little damage on this corner here. Nothing crazy. But for a box this size, I'm surprised that it actually came in pretty good shape. And the front seems to be pretty perfect. Alright, let's open this thing up. So this is the first pop ride that I've ever gotten, or pop in general, that assembly is required. I already put this little stand thing into the base, and it looks like once it's in there, it's probably not going to come out. I feel like, I mean, it might just slip out, because it didn't seem to make any huge clicks or anything. But if you're an inbox collector, and you pull it out and put it together, just know that once you put this in, it might break if you pull it out. I don't plan to disassemble it, but... Just know that. All done. It's really nice of you to always be waiting for me before I arrive in my invisible jet. Yeah, I'm a gentleman like that. I've noticed. Gentlemanly manners are lost on so many nowadays. Not on me. Real gentleman here. How cool is this thing? It totally feels a lot more solid than I thought it was going to be. It's pretty thick plastic. And it's surprisingly shiny for just clear plastic. Really well done. And I do like that they decided to make this design which reminds me more of the super friends jet because in the live action wonder woman show her jet does kind of look more like a bomber and this actual pointer jet design i think is just more aesthetically pleasing but yeah i'm quite happy with this it looks really cool it's gonna go straight onto my bookshelf because it is pretty big and it looks nice it just looks like a nice classic piece of americana so I'm totally going to display it. You know, it would also look really cool if you have a really nice pop room that's organized or if you have all your pops out of the box and just intertwined with your books and movies and just have a really nice setup. If you get some fishing line and hang this from your ceiling or whatever else you want to hang it from and have it just kind of swooping in with all your other pops, I think that would be really spectacular. Any pop fanatic walking into that room and seeing the invisible jet just hanging would be, I think, pretty impressed. But of course, you got to be a pop, you know, a, a Funko fanatic to really be impressed by something like that. But I know I would. I, I would think that would be a cool addition to any, you know, any pop room. But one of the main reasons I got this was this new sculpt for Wonder Woman. So I'll put her on the base and give you a closer look at that. As you can see, her hair is a little longer than the old Wonder Woman pop, and it's jet black, which I really like. Like I said earlier, I like the Gal Gadot version of the Wonder Woman they put out, 
Except for, I just wish her hair would have been black, or it's just at least darker. I think they chose too light of a brown, and I like it, but to me, Wonder Woman should have almost black hair, if not black. And I'm a big fan of the way they did the hair. It appears that the crown is molded in with the head, and the hair is glued on, which makes it have a perfect hairline. You can't really have a paint flaw with glued on hair that's painted separately. So that was a really great choice by Funko, and I love when they do that, because a bad hairline paint would have definitely ruined this, because it's such a great piece, and just bad hairline would have just looked stupid. So I'm glad they did that. Little earrings look good. And I really like this super classic, super iconic costume. They did a really good job with her rope, her bracelets. Everything looks really good on this pop. Definitely my favorite Wonder Woman pop out there. And hopefully they release her without the jet. You know, for anybody that wants this but really can't afford to get the jet. The jet cost me $30. I think when it comes out, I wanted to say I saw somewhere it's going to be like $27.99, something like that. I paid $3 extra. No big deal to me because I really wanted it. And I'm glad I just got a really nice piece with really good painting. But, yeah. So view from the back. Her hair her hair looks really really great. Her little underwear short things look really good. Really really happy with this. If I had to nitpick anything, I would say I think that this legal writing should have probably been either on the base or underneath back here instead of one of the wings. I'm not sure why they decided to put it there. I think maybe somewhere where it'd be a little less noticeable would have been a lot better choice. But that's a really small thing because I'm pretty sure I'm just going to display her at this angle. And maybe if she was sitting down and holding the, the controller or whatever that's called. I'm not sure what the airplane steering wheel thing is called. Um, throttle maybe? I don't know. But that would have been cool too. But, you know, on second thought... Maybe not, because the Daenerys pop with the Drogon pop ride, she's in a seated position, and if she's not actually on Drogon, she just looks silly and makes her useless. So maybe like this is nice too if you want to stand her up beside the jet, or just display her with your other pops. But yeah, totally, totally happy with this. I couldn't really find an official release date for the Invisible Jet with Wonder Woman anywhere online. Most places say it's going to ship in late April, or they just say released in April, or some of them even say May, and it's really not available anywhere to purchase. So the guy that did sell them on Amazon for about 30 bucks, which is basically the retail price, it looked like he only had a few and sold them pretty quick because he's not on there anymore. And the few that I do see now are in the high 40s. So they're obviously trying to get you if you want it early. But it should be widely available within a few weeks. But yeah, really happy with this one. Really, really cool pop. Probably my favorite pop ride I have now. And it's going to look great on my shelf. And thanks for watching, guys. Why are you always flying directly underneath me when I'm in my jet? <laughs> because I'm just doing my duty. What do you mean doing your duty? You're always flying right underneath me and looking up. Why? <laughs> I look, I'm looking down too. Where do the missiles come from? They come from Earth, underneath, underneath the jet. So you're, you're, oh, you're protecting me. You're protecting me from the missiles. Yes. Hello. God. <laughs> Can't do anything nice for anybody nowadays. That's the problem with America. <laughs> I'm out of here.